Hello everybody! I've been working on something quite special for the past few days. I've been testing lots of graphics cards and I created a GPU leaderboard to refer to in the future as well. Uh, what is it about? It's about which graphics card is the best performing one out of the box. And um, yeah, this is going to be a regular series, I'm hoping, so whenever I get my hands on another GPU, I will be testing it and I will be adding it to this existing leaderboard and I'll show you what it is all about. So let's have a look. And here it is, GPU leaderboard. So let me just walk you through what's going on here and how to look at it and what you can see here. Um, basically, this is a spreadsheet on uh, Google, which can be shared and viewed by anyone. So I will leave the link in the description below. You can access it at any time you like. You can add it to your favorites. You can uh, share it through, I, I mean, you can send it anywhere you like to your friends, post it anywhere you like. I don't mind because I've put it up for um, global share. So here we can see all the GPUs that I've tested and it is represented by name of the company and uh, model and make. So for example, this is Zotac GTX 980 Ti Amp Extreme and that's the all the information that relates to it over here. Uh, in the next column, you, we can see video memory and that's uh, you know, 6 gigabytes, 12 gigabytes, 4 gigabytes, whatever it is. And then, oh, I forgot to say that all, all the GPUs have been tested on, this, on one system, on the same conditions, and what I'm saying is that as long as it's on the same PCB, so it can be dual chip graphics cards, if they come up with triple or f quadruple, I don't mind. As long as it's on the same board, I don't mind testing it and putting it in this uh, leaderboard. So yeah, uh, next one, memory memory speed. And over here we can see base core clock. And I'm testing these cards out of the box. So no OC modes, no tweaking, nothing. Just take it out of the box, put it in the PC and test it. And I've tested it and the, the way I'm distributing uh, the the leadership is f by calculating these scores. What are these scores? Of course, they're 3D Mark Fire Strike in 1080p, 1440p, and 4K resolution, because I consider it to be pretty much consistent. And a lot of uh, overclockers even use it to uh, set their records and so on. So the way uh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it in f all three resolutions. Then I am combining these scores and we get the total score. And that's how I work out who the leader is. And also I've included the uh, test in Tomb Raider 2013, 4K resolution, Y Tomb Raider, because I consider it to be one of the best optimized games for Nvidia and AMD. It is very fairly optimized and also it scales Crossfire and SLI multi-GPU configurations like crazy. It's like the best game I've seen so far for uh, GPU scaling with multiple GPUs. Also I've, in I've included some uh, mid-range GPUs and I will be adding more and more mid-range, uh, low-range and high-end GPUs, but for mid-range and lower I'm going to use only 1080p scores and full HD Tomb Raider uh, FPS. So that's pretty much it. I mean, I'm gonna be adding more and more cards here, so if you enjoy this, make sure to hit that like button. In the comments below you can share what you think about uh, all this and unfortunately I won't be able to change anything here. I won't be able to add any any scores or FPS counts because uh, most of these cards I won't be able to have access to ever again. 
this was a one-off uh, time so I'll just be using this system that I came up with to add more and more cards but still let me know in the comments below what do you think and until next time RG out